Hello once again, and this is J. Ashley Spencer. Hello, J. Ashley Spencer here. J. Ashley Spencer. This is J. Ashley Spencer. J. Ashley Spencer, and. Hello, and this is Jada Ashley Spencer with Scarlet27. And today, today we paint the grill. Well, not not the grill. They're like the bit behind the grill, but that that bit there. So it isn't actually the grill. The grill, the grill bars. We're doing another day because I can't be fucked. But we're painting that bit. We're painting it today. I've gone through many attempts. It's probably the most irresponsible places uh, to put these, but I've gone through many attempts of trying to create the perfect colour. And I sort of just gave up. And we're just going to jump straight into it. So this one, I sand, oh, I sanded down, then primed, and sanded again, and then painted. This one is like last... I think them two have got one more coat. These two are both done. This one has got its last coat of primer. I was going to wait and then spray this, but I couldn't be fucked. So we're just jumping straight onto this. And then you, 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 would, you would have seen this one done already. So yeah. And a little picture on my car. Sweet as. But yeah. Now, now we're going on to something amazing, so stay tuned, because it's going to get messy. Okay, so all day I've just been messing around with different paints and primers and stuff and stuff else's and everything, and I, was, um, I still need to test out the red. I don't know if I'm... Probably, I'm probably not going to do that today, actually. But, um, with the black, I was just like, screw it. It says put grey gray primer on it. We're going to do that. We're going to spray it straight on. Spray it straight on. Spray it straight on. So far away first, and then we'll do another one, and then another one. And then, um, then we should be good to go. Oh, we'll probably do another one, another one, and another one. We'll do three layers and then four layers of paint. So yeah. Let's get into this bastard. So I'm gonna start. I think I'm gonna start this way and then flip it around. Uh yeah. Probably have to pick it up from underneath and then spin it like so. I don't, uh, I don't know how we're gonna spin it, but it's gonna be spun no matter what. Fucking go. It's my largest thing I've climbed, by the way. People are probably going to be like, oh, what's the difference? Your, your, your bumper was probably already black. No, it wasn't. It was grey. I mean, the other people would be like, oh, your resale value is probably going to go down now. Oh, 
will go down now. I don't care. It's gonna go. It's gonna go da even further down when I um. I cut fucking holes in it, innit? Alright, we're gonna let this chill. I'm gonna take this by the pond. And it can chill there for a bit. And then we'll do another layer. Alright, let's keep going. 16% on the phone. I'm sort of skipping it in and out of videos. Ugh. I'm filming this video, but then I'm filming a video that I would have released ages ago. So, yeah. Fucking. Come on! <laughs> Getting so late. If I had some real skill, I'd, I'd, I'd literally colour them in red, but I'm not that skilled. Not that skilled yet. So one more, but well, no, two, two more layers and then should be cold. All right, got some bad news. I, I don't know if this news is going to affect us with this, but for the lacquer, it says, um, obviously you, you saw in my other videos, if you watch them, um, allow 24 hours for the base car to dry and use um, 12,000 grit wet and dry, plenty of water. So I'd say would, it also says like, uh, 
fame with warm water um, and like rinse and then dry thoroughly. Um, we'll I, I reckon we'll so like prime it and then um, probably paint it tomorrow. We'll just lay it dry completely and uh, yeah. I don't really want this to go wrong. So yeah, alright, let's get on the prime, open up the can of hell. And then I'm just going to attach this by a little cords. I'm going to put my number plate over it. Because I still need to finish off some wrapping. Which is quite annoying. I get this as uniform as possible. Oh god, why is that that like that? Right, that looks pretty sick. <laughs> I think we'll probably just take one more go. And then hopefully we'll be ready. Bye.
I literally holding it like this. You can see all the places that I've missed. Sweet. Let the dry off. I'm going to apply the last coat. Right, so uh, oh my god, we nearly dropped it. Right, I'm gonna speed spray in the last little bit. It's just like cleaning up, basically. I reckon tomorrow we'll do the rear diffuser as well. I'm surprised I haven't got, even though I'm wearing a mask, I'm surprised I haven't got high from the fumes. Right, so we'll let this dry 
And then, um, and then, yeah. We'll just kind of attach it to our car. Cable ties, that's what they're called. I remember now. And then, yeah. Yeah, so let's go. That looks pretty mad. <laughs> pretty bad, I'd say. Um, <coughs> just letting the actual groove sort of like dry a little bit more. And then I've literally, because I had to go half it to get some more paint, but I'm literally going to cable tie it to these. And it'll just be easier to take off. It'll kind of sit like this, but it won't come off. And then I'm gonna have to put my number plate back on. But yeah, that's what that looks like. Hmm? What the fuck? I don't, I don't know what happened there. We got we, we got a mental hospital uh, fairly near us, so could be someone from there. I don't, I don't know, um, but yeah. So obviously we're not using this grill. We're using this grill. Look how nice that looks. That looks that looks a hell of a lot meaner. Plus it's honeycomb as well. And that's the reason we're painting the thingy black as well. Gloss black. So yeah, but um, I'm gonna put this on the tripod and then um, we'll we'll actually clip this in. So yeah. All right. So this all should be dry now. Yep. It all should be dry. That the box is a bit. One bit is here. I might need to crinkle that down a bit. That shouldn't be that actually. Ugh. Oh. I'll be back, I need to glue something. Alright. I was supposed to glue this in, but it won't glue, so let's just stick this, push this back in, or push it back in. I can't really push it that hard in. I feel like an absolute fucked up my thumb. So that might be alright. As long as it doesn't come out. Oh, I like that. you feel like we need to push in from the other side. I'm 
bottom, that's all clicks on. It's all cold. It's just their top. The top is a little bit touchy. Ugh. Sweet as. That is quality. That looks nice. And then the top bit is going to be black soon. I was going to put on my, the number plate straight away, but I'm going to take some photos like this and then um, and then put the number plate back on. So, yeah. Anyway, um, this has been Jad Ashley Spencer with um, Scarlet27. Hope you. <laughs> found this interesting I don't know um, yeah this is awfully a lot of um, I spent quite a lot of time trying to get this off and yeah but um, there's probably better videos out there but anyway yeah this being Jad actually Spencer thanks for watching please like subscribe and share check out my other videos and goodbye my friends bye and in future videos you'll see what I'm doing with that and other stuff probably the the tape around the, not tape the wrap at the bottom you'll see me do that as well but yeah anyway thanks for watching and bye all right so it's the next day um i had to drive with this on like honestly i might try and get some like chicken wire or some crap and then like put it on my car because this is chipped like fucking loads like there was a dirt caught up here and then yeah we've got chip in here got a large chip here uh chip just chips everywhere so yeah plus that's the fact that um so i didn't sand it i thought it would stick like well but turns out it hasn't so we're just gonna go one more primer and then um and we'll paint so yeah all right we need to do this quick oh god i've just seen some places where the primer hasn't set oh no i reckon i'm gonna have to film some of this off off video Wait. yeah Yeah. Alright, so I know this sounds really weird, but I'm going to spray the back first, and then spray the front. Or should I? Yeah. I'm just hoping that I'm not running out of this. I feel like I am. I feel like I should have done satin black with that. Oh God, you live, you learn. So we're gonna let that dry for a bit and then, actually no, screw it, I haven't really painted.
I don't even know if this is focusing on there. All right, there you go. Right, yeah, so we leave it like that. Just let, let it set for a little bit. About five, ten minutes. And then um, we'll go over it again. We're going to do it four times. I don't know how many times it says on here. I think it's normally... Um, do the... the Yeah, just uh, several coats. So I think we are going to let it dry for about 15 minutes. Do another coat, then another coat, and another coat. So what's the time now? Got this. Six o'clock now. It's going to get dark soon. But yeah. I suppose we're forced to do it like this, so yeah, what, what can we do? What can we do? So a little fucking flame. So yeah. Alright, cool, that's been about... It's been about 12 minutes. But, um, yeah, it hasn't been separating. I was going to lie, but then I was just like, what's the point? If we flip it first, I think worst uh, worst case scenario is coming up. I think we're running out. Fucking spray. to sort of like spin it around there. I'm probably gonna have to finish this tomorrow.
plus and positive is it will have a nice dry time. I'm gonna let it dry again. And then, um, yeah, we'll probably have to finish this off tomorrow after work. I'll go straight to Halfords, get some glossy black. We'll probably have to get light, because we're, we're doing this, then we're doing, um, then we're doing the back bumper one, like the rear diffuser. Um, I feel like we're doing something else with black. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to be doing the spoiler with a bit of black as well. So I'll probably get about three cans of black. And then I might get another one of red as well. But yeah. Oh god. This is... This is mad. Well, I let it dry out over in my, in my little space by the pond, but... But yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to sort of um, try and sort out my no grill problem. Also, we'll carry this on tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do the no grill thing on my own because I just want to get it done, dusted and yeah. Okay, so this is the next day. Honestly, I can't be bothered to get down my, um, get my tripod. So we're just going to spray it like this. Um... I think we'll do we'll do the back first and then we'll do the front but yeah so I'm just going to spray down the back it's quite annoying with the light glare it's quite hard to see stuff so yeah I think I'm just going to have to hold it like this and just spray it like this so yeah because once we put it like that I can't see a thing so yeah anyway um, I'll catch you once I've sprayed it all down all right, so after that, we got this pretty, pretty perfect. Um, it's nice. It looks, it looks well nice. So I'm gonna have to take it, pick this up, and put it by the pond, let it dry off, and then um, I think we'll do the. Oh, it's a bit right over there. I, yeah, might quickly spray, but yeah, I'm gonna put it by the pond and let it dry off. So yeah. All right, so it's the next day. Um, we're gonna try and do the final coat, or not, not the, yeah, we'll try and do the final coat. But, um, I've noticed that it's chipped a little bit, um, in the weaker places, especially in the corners and all that shit, so we're gonna try and cover that. I've sort of popped the little air bubbles and all that crap, so, that's all cool. But, yeah, so we're gonna spray it down once again on the, on the front, on the back. It's sort of like dried up pretty well. It's it's gone yeah, it's gone good. 
So um, we'll try and get the same finish on the back as the, as the front, or on the front as the back sort of thing. So um, I'll sort of set the camera up and then we'll spray it down. Um, I think next after this I'm going to do the... Um, I'll do the back one and then I want to try and do this or prime the spoiler prime the spoiler no I want to prime the back prime the scoop and prime the sort of like um, the little aluminium bits that go in between so yeah so I'm going to set this up and we're going to get started alright I'm going to put my paints just to the side oh my primers for that other two projects that I'm doing. Right, this is cut cold board. It's kind of leaked on it. It's cold and just gonna spray it down a little bit. Right, there we go. Right, so let's try and get these places. Oh my god. I didn't really think of the wind. <laughs> I tried to spray it, just went all that way. Right, let's go. So I was hoping to sort of like lacquer it today. But that really isn't going to happen. Sort of hold it up. So have the, have the light. Oh my god, that hasn't gone as bad as I thought it was about to go.
Right, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Just up there. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it like that. We'll let it, um, so I'll try, try off. It's gonna be the second to last coat, I reckon. I reckon we'll get one more on this, and then, um, yeah. Oh, this could be the last coat, I don't know. No, yeah, we'll, we'll get one more on this. And then um, just like a quick touch up. And then the next time, then we'll put the lap on. So yeah, so I'm gonna pick it up and then move it to the little drying rack. Before I do that, I've missed out on this Okay, so I was gonna add one more layer of lacquer to the back, but it's got two layers in the back, three layers in the front, and I think that's probably enough. So yeah, so next time I'll see you <coughs> will be when I assemble all the pieces together and put it on the car. So yeah, anyway, this being Jada Ashley Spencer with Scarlet 27 and me spraying this grill. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and share, check my other videos, and goodbye my friends. Bye. By the way, in the other video, we'll be doing these, but yeah.